as far as I have been able to follow, nothing has been done that is against the laws of Belize. So it is, uh, what has happened is allowable by our constitution. And so I fully yield to what has happened. Uh, people who are wondering whether or not I will uh, sit beside the new leader of the opposition and work for my party, absolutely, absolutely. I am elected by the people of the colored constituency. I serve the United Democratic Party and there is nobody who will stop me from arriving in that house, God willing, uh, to represent the people of Collette and to represent the people of this nation who have been duped by the People's United Party so greatly on November 20th of last year. I learned, of course, of the decision of three of my colleagues to sign a letter of no confidence uh, while I was away uh, traveling home on Monday afternoon, uh, I had been of the opinion that at least one of those colleagues did not intend to sign the, the, the letter of petition to the Governor General or instruction to the Governor General. And um, I was saddened by that. I will not tell you otherwise. As we speak, I am told that the new leader of the opposition is firing a senator and hiring a new one. Uh, so, uh, without any consultation with me as the leader of the party, without any consultation with anybody, other parliamentarians, but that is his right as the new leader of the opposition. But I will tell you, it does not sit well with me, merely because this is a mass party, and that we have several, several layers of leadership and, and opportunities for participation, and where it is that three persons take on controlling the party in that manner, it is heading for dangerous waters in my opinion.